Heaven's California Does he need a run from his teammates? No, he does not. No, he fucking does not. Yes, 5-4. Look at Son here. Look at this just acceleration. And the strike. Whew. Come on. Hey, yo, guys. What is going on? Welcome back to episode 28 of my FIFA 18 World Cup Road to Glory. Uh, yesterday, we made our draft challenge team. We put together the team. I think it's 81 rated and 80 chemistry. Um, we're into the round of 16, which means, you know, it's further than I thought I would get. Dominating the group stages, which is pretty good. Um, but obviously, I'm on the loading screen right now because I thought I'd talk about England for a couple of minutes. So England tonight. Um, there will be a double upload today. Normally, I do double upload one at about 4, 4.30 and then one at 8.30. This one is actually not going to be a set time. I'm actually going to be... Um, downstairs by myself watching the game tonight because um, I think well my, my parents are going out um, they booked something uh, a show or something I think it's Sarah Merlican and uh, obviously they don't, they're not huge football fans so they're not going to go and quit the show to watch it uh, quit the show to or well, they're not going to cancel the show to um, come and watch the football so I'm going to be at home doing my live reaction downstairs to the football and uh, what this means is that I'm going to have a live reaction coming out about an hour, I'd say an hour, hour and a half after the game is finished um, with my live reactions basically. Now the chances of England going through today, um, by far our toughest opposition of the tournament. Um, you know, I think it'll be, I think it'll be a tough one for England. I'd say it's a good 50-50, you know, we're either going to win or we're not, well, it's a 50-50 it's chance, I'd say, you know, maybe five times out of ten, Croatia should win, five times out of ten, England will win. Um, I think it is really the first team we're going to come up against that are better than us on paper um, in a lot of the positions. You know, their defence is a little bit shaky, everything else is pretty solid. Um, you know, England so far, a lot of people would say, haven't really had the competition, which is true, OK, we haven't had the competition from no fault of our own, we're into the semi-final of the World Cup. Um, you know, I think it'll be a close game. I think it'll be end-to-end. -end. It'll be the first team that we're really going to be able to test this new system, this 3-5-2. You know, we're set up to go on the counter-attack, which is why we have the three midfielders, Henderson in the middle, and the two more attacking midfielders out wide. And we have, obviously, Sterling up top, who's got a lot of pace. Then we have Harry Kane. Um... Essentially, we're going to be looking for set pieces and corners because that's where notoriously the majority of our goals have come from this tournament. If we get a penalty, that would be quite nice as well. You know, we have a, a good penalty conversion rate in the tournament. We've only missed one and that was in the penalty shootout. Um, apart from that, I guess it's time to make my prediction. And uh, I'm going to go with 2-1 England. I think we'll struggle to stop Croatia scoring. I think they might get a goal, but... 2 ones always a generic score, you know, I think we'd... I would like to see England go through to the final in some ways, but in some ways I wouldn't. Especially for the security reasons. Um, you know, us Englishmen and women have a tendency to, uh, when celebrating, go a little bit over the top. And, you know, people get hurt, things get broken and vandalised, and I don't want that to happen, you know. Um, so they're celebrating and then there's, you know, people getting hurt. I saw a post the other day, someone... Nearly had a, a shard of glass put in their eye when someone were all throwing their glasses up in the air. But then you have to kind of blame the pubs as well, you know. Um, why are they serving drinks in in glass glasses? They, they should probably be using plastic cups or something like a festival, knowing that the fans are going to lob them up in the air. Um, but, you know, if you are out there and celebrating, watching the game right now, obviously it'll be in about the 60th-ish minute when this comes. Well, meh. About the 75th, 70th, 75th minute maybe. Um, so hopefully we're going to be in the lead or looking good. I just hope that we don't get outperformed. You know, I don't want us to go home getting battered by Croatia. I mean, nobody should be disappointed, whether regardless of whether we win or lose tonight. Um, you know, not even thinking about France on 
on Sunday, or I think it's on Sunday, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. Um, if we do win tonight, you know, we got to think about tonight. And, um, you know, uh, if you are out there, as I said, celebrating, then do, you know, be cautious of other people. You know, don't do anything that you wouldn't do. You know, usually you can get in trouble for it, and I don't want any of you guys out there to uh, get hurt. So celebrate correctly okay celebrate uh pa celebrate passively you know don't go don't go too crazy and all loco like that because i just think it's uh, a bit of a waste of time you know going out there and getting hurt or something over football it's not it's not something i'd recommend doing but um anyway we're gonna go into this then today um i believe that I mean, there probably is. A, yeah, there is. Um, we do have some upgrades uh, on the game. Unfortunately, none of our players who did get upgraded. I believe the upgrades were um, TT. He's now an 87, I think. Or 85. Was he an 85 already? I think he may have been. Uh, Varane is now up to an 89, you know, with 90 pace. We got Mbappe there, and we got Hazard. So, our own team is going to be looking pretty damn good. Now, this is how the squad is looking then. If you did miss yesterday's episode, then please do go and check that out. You'll see us building the team. Um, we don't play with half these players. The team looks like this in-game. We have Aspas up there. We take him out for De Santos. And then we flip it to a 4-3-3-4, and it looks like that in-game. But obviously, for chemistry purposes, we have to play it like this. Uh, just to get the chemistry up at the start. Um, but that's how we look then. That's how we're going to be lining up. We've got this quarterfinal to look forward to. Hopefully, we're going to be able to do some damage in this. You know, our record is not looking too bad. The 41 losses. I think we've probably entered about 30 World Cups right now. 25, 30 World Cups. Um, which is alright, I guess. We have to use a squad training item. Because we've got loads of them left over, and to be honest, after this, I don't really think I'm going to be touching Ultimate Team that much. Maybe touch it, touch on it a little bit for um, the purposes of, well, you know. Would we get more chemistry? No, because then we, we need Danny Carvajal on six. But, um... But yeah, that's how we're going to line up in this one then today, guys. Um, let's get the world, let's pull the World Cup trophy back up because obviously I've been recording uh, Tales from the Borderlands. Uh, you'll be seeing that in a couple of weeks' time. I'm um, getting that ready as a, a little series for you all, so that'll be nice and dandy for you all. Hopefully, you will all enjoy that. It's a very chilled out game. This is the team we're coming up against. It's a mega side. He's got Ronaldo, Ronaldo, Rui Costa, Conte. Maradona, um, don't know why he hasn't flipped, some people, is that raining outside, no I thought it was raining, it sounded like rain, it wasn't rain, uh, but yeah he has a very very strong team obviously, five with the back, let's just see what we can do, defence not really stretched by back cross, and they get the ball away, so fine guys, 15 minutes in, this guy is very much on top of the game, um, as you'd expect, you know, he's got a very, his team is much better than us, and he's got that five at the back, so he's set up for the counters and stuff, um, and talking of counters, we could be on one here, his son, his son, son's got the legs, son has got the legs, don't overrun it, he scores, it's 1-0, Young and Son, what a goal. Your godson! Your godson! What a goal. What a counter from Son is amazing on that counter attack, man. He's insane. I'd love to try and get into my team. Look at that. What a great strike from Sonny Boy. What an amazing strike. Wow, that is sensational to get us into this league. Oh, what a save from Rooney there. He was playing us like a fiddle there. We're going to have to defend this corner now. 
Mar an awful ball from Maradona. What was that? Jesus Christ, boy. That's a turnover in play. What a block from Zakia there. That was an insane tackle. Zakia has been absolutely fantastic at the back. Good near post block, but the goalkeeper. Oh no. Oh no. Always disappointing. That's shocking. And they just didn't get set for me. <sighs> he had to be there to score it, and that's true. But once he was there, he could Jesus, that was well, a lot of those defenders. That was not good. Not good for from Rudy really there, but you can't he expect everything from Rudy. Really. He kind of got caught up Luis on Cristiano. Hernandez there, so he couldn't could really do too much to about it. Let's try and get the ball. Here's the Santos. Aspas screwed back in the game. Oh, 2-1, let's go baby. Easy clap. Easy freaking clap, boys. That's how we do. Straight back in. Aspas, look at the pass from De Santos there. And Aspas just has brilliant dribbling. I'm a big fan of Aspas. He's been fantastic in this tournament. And it's in 2-1. Yeah, 2 all. sorry. The defender. Uh, it's a tricky one, isn't it? It's a very tricky one. Look at this. That was a good block, but that cross was disgusting. Jesus. Let's see if we can get a quick goal back, though. Come on. Oh no, Hernandez. That was not a good pass. We got the ball back, though. Here's De Santos into Aspas. Aspas good, De Santos finish it, yes, it's 3-2, to to what a goal, there we go, Aspas and De Santos, De Santos has been great this as well, you know, I've been, I've, I've loved playing with De Santos, he's been fantastic up at CAM, great link up play, great from Aspas there, De Santos makes a good run, just about pokes it home and it's 3-2, we're kickoff glitching the hell out of this game but I don't care man. I want to win. I want to win and at half time. I think the game sound might be a little bit too high. Yeah, I'll turn it down a little bit. It's probably been a little bit loud for you all. Um, I'll put it to about half. Because I've been sitting up, setting it up for... Uh, that's been my setup for playing the other game, obviously. But uh, we've had three shots on target and all three have gone in. So we cannot complain about that. We're going to jump straight into the second half then. And uh, hopefully, we're going to be able to do some more damage, man. I'm feeling confident. No, it's 3 0. Ah, oh, no, that's a shame. Rui Costa breaks through again and makes it 3 0. But uh, again, I'm hoping we can get ourselves a cheeky kickoff of the glitch because that would help us massively here. Come on, let's try and do this. Here's De Santos. De Santos is running. We know he's got the, the dribbling ability. Got, a sh got to be a free kick, though, ref. Where was the advantage? That was the quickest advantage ever. Oh, now we're in trouble. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's disaster. Ronaldo and Ronaldo have p -p 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 punished us oh no that's that's disgraceful what has really done there what has he done there look at this look at this from Ruli Ronaldo that's a great ball and look at oh Ruli 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 man what are you doing there boy can't blame Ruli but uh, you can put some of the blame on his Tragic goalkeeping there, really. Can Aspas fire us level? No, no, he can't. Come on, we got to get the corner in. It's a decent ball. Gustavo should be able to clear this up. Yes, son. Kyung Min takes the strike and scores. Makes it 4 all. Eight goal thriller. 
you gotta get if you made the goal, you gotta get the ball to Sun Man. He's amazing, he's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic card. Look at this, just accelerates past Puyol, says see you later, son. And that finish composed and fantastic. For all. We're still going, we're not out yet. <laughs> Quick, play it through. Here's Sonny Boy again. Come on, Sonny Boy, what you got for us this time, boy? Does he need a run from his teammates? No, he does not. No, he fucking does not. Yes, 5 4. Look at Son here. Look at this just acceleration and the strike. Come on. No, it's 5 all. Oh my god, he just run through. Our defence is so slow and just there. The midfield is done. Gustavo and Mascherano are so old. Their stamina is is a, is a dead thing. Dead thing. Um, I guess we got to try and get the ball back to Son and see if we can get it to go here. Um, obviously, Ronaldo making that transfer to Juventus. I don't know why he's gone to Juventus. Um, I guess he was just sick of Real Madrid, wants a, a new challenge. So uh, I'm sure all of the... Ronaldo fans will now be uh, supporting uh, Juventus all of a sudden. All the Juventus fans that have been hiding under their rocks are now saying, Oh, we love Juventus. Always loved Juventus, man. Hated Real Madrid. Always, always fancied Juventus for Ronaldo. Yeah, my ass, mate. You're just getting on the Ronaldo train. Ah, Laurent, you idiot. Come on. Ah, oh, good, 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 good. That was really good. Oh no, Laurent again, and it's extra time. Oh Christ, we're not going to be able to make it through. We're not going to be able to make it through. Look at our players, they're, they're done. Our players are done. We've got no substitutions to make either. He's going to make substitutions, I know that. This is it. I think this is the, it done, guys. I don't think we can actually win. I think it's done for, unfortunately. I, I, I told him to shoot and pass, and he did nothing then. That was the first half of extra time. Done. It's over. We got one half to try and make it count. I believe he's probably going to have people coming on. Yeah, he's brought on Therese Mertens there already. I can see Jesse Lingard. Oh, Christ. Here we go. Then who's he brought on? Mertens there. Jesse for Diego and Koscielny for Kimmich. Holy damn! What the hell's that? What the hell's he done that for, man? Why is Kimmich coming off? I guess his stamina's a little bit screwed, but you know, he's still decent. I have no words for that. Absolutely no words. He's got the fresh men and we can't. That's that's what it comes down to. Ah, uh, come on, man. Get on the break. We got two minutes added time here. That's a lot of time. Still to play. No, Miranda. Yes, we got the ball back. Referee, do not blow that whistle. If you do anything, do not blow the whistle yet. There's still some time. Nah, we're out. Around the 16 was all we could do with the team. But we can't say it wasn't a good performance. We cannot say it wasn't a good performance. Son got a freaking 10. Son carried us that game. But uh, unfortunately, that is going to be the end of our World Cup run. Our World Cup run crashes to an end which means that uh, we do get a couple of packs I'm going to try and get an icon pack done for today as well we're going to put our team back together and see how that's looking our 4-1-2-1-2 thing um, we'll see how that's a cooking we're getting Daye there from Senegal another player that we haven't got to the club yet or got to the squad yet which is nice but uh, let's Let's put some of our players back in then. So our goalkeeper, I believe, is still 
looking the same. We actually had Schmeichel, didn't we? Yeah, we had Schmeichel in goal, uh, which is nice. Our left back is obviously going to be Jordi Alba. I'd love to get Marcelo in there, but we don't have an icon centre-back. Uh, and Alba's the best European one, so that's about the best we've got there. Centre-back-wise, we've now got... Uh, we're still going to be using Varane. And I'm still going to be using Vertonghen. Um, I just prefer him over Pepe. He's just a bit better on the ball and stuff and good at passing the ball out. So I'm going to be using Vertonghen there. Our right back is still going to be Osua Kimmich. I mean, I'd love to have Kieran Trippier. I'm not sure if we do have Kieran Trippier in the team. No, we don't have Kieran Trippier. So we can't. if I'd have had Kieran Trippier... I'd have used Kieran Trippier, but we don't have him, unfortunately. So, um, our CDM, I believe, is still the same in uh, Blaise Matuidi. I don't think we've had anyone who's had an upgrade there. No, we haven't. It's still going to be... Oh, we've just backed out. That's not ideal. Can we just appreciate first how good Varane looks now? He's an 89-rated centre-back. Probably the best centre-back in the game on the World Cup mode. So, um, he's definitely staying. Centre mids, honestly, I think we got to put De Bruyne back in. Um, I'm going to put Costa that side. Let's just compare here, okay? We put Deco in there. Deco compared to De Bruyne. The only thing Deco's got better on De Bruyne is pace. So that's it. I'm putting KDB in, man. KDB's coming back in. Uh, centre attack in mid, we're going to use Ronaldinho, obviously, because he's insane. Do love myself a bit of Ronaldinho. Our strikers, we're going to have Gary Lineker. Now, I'm not sure whether we should take Kane here. I mean, Mbappe, actually, no, 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 no. I'm going to use Mbappe and Harry Kane. Because Mbappe on paper is better than Gary Lineker. Now, in terms of our substitutes, we're just going to throw a load of high-rated ones on. So, Messi, obviously, is going to be there. He's going to be there. Tony Cruz is going to be there. Griezmann's going to be there. Ericsson's going to be there, Deco's going to be there, Isco's going to be there, Rakitic is going to be there, Marcelo is going to be there. Do we need anyone else? Yes, we need three more. Uh, we'll take Coutinho, Pepe, and Higain. That's who we'll take. Our bench is stacked with fantastic players. I'd rather take Rakitic over Tony Cruz. Um... We do need a defender of some sort, so we'll take out Isco. Although Isco is better than Ericsson, so we'll take Ericsson out. There. Could we get this? Why is the chemistry bad? Oh, I know. Because we need the, the Portuguese manager back again. Don't we? Can we put Gareth Southgate in? There we go. We put Gareth in. Let's put Gareth in. We don't have any... We've only got one English player in the team, but, you know, that's fine. Um, these two can stay as is. Um, I think that is basically going to be it then. I might see, let's have a look if we have anything for an icon pack. Because I would like to do an icon pack here. Let's just see. I think we have got enough. Um, obviously we have the icon being very costly. So let's write some of this down quickly. I'm going to write this down. And then uh, I will get back to you, hopefully, with a lovely icon pack. Alright then, guys. So, this, we have actually two packs. I got the single player pack from doing the substitution. Uh, which is nice. We do only do get a thin pin, though. So, that's not really ideal. We actually get Sanchez there from Peru. So, that's not really great. But we now do get the icon pack. So... Let's just hope we don't get a Portugal flag, because if we do, Portugal or Japan, I'll be triggered as hell, but you know what it is, what it is. Spain, is it Puyol? Ooh. Now this opens up an opportunity, because we could play Marcelo now over Mr. Alba, but do I really want to play Marcelo over Alba? Not really. But we do get Carlos Puyol, which is a very... Very nice pick indeed. I do 
I do like that uh, very much. So we will definitely be throwing Puyol into our very heavy... Well, it's not so much heavily icon-based anymore because, uh, well, we don't really have the the players to put in there, unfortunately. Um, unfortunately, some of the players that are getting upgraded are a little bit better than what we already have. But we're going to actually drop the Tongan then. And we're going to put in a Carlos Puyol. I'll put a chemistry style on him uh, when if I need to. Really, he really needs... Well, if we had an engine, that would be pretty decent. Do we have an engine card for him? Uh, let's see, chemistry style. We don't have an engine. I mean, let's be honest, he doesn't need any defensive stats really being worked. He just needs... Mm, I might buy an engine for him. If I'm being honest, I would probably buy an engine for him. But uh, we'll keep him as is. We might throw him over there. I mean, if we took... Oh, look, we actually get to 190 now. If we took him out, he would not get the link, but we could just throw him there. He'd get the link. With an anchor on, he would be pretty quick, but he doesn't get the full anchor because he's not there. So I'm actually just going to put him there. I'm going to put Varane back there. And we'll Actually, no, we'll put Varane on that side. Why not? And that is how the team is looking then, guys. So... We're looking good. We're looking all right, aren't we? We're looking pretty good, this team. Um, but that is where we are going to end the episode then, guys. We crash out, but we do get Carlos Puyol, which is fantastic and is amazing. So, thank you guys all for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please do remember to smash a like rating on the video. If you're new around here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. I've been David. This has been FIFA 18. Thank you all for watching. Stay safe. Stay awesome. Stay happy, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.